A complex system is a special class of system. A system is simply a set of parts called elements and a set of connections between these parts called relations. Organization is formed out of the local interactions between the parts through a process of self-organization that gives rise to the emergence of new levels of organization. This is a pervasive phenomenon in our world. Elements are nested inside of subsystems, which in turn form part of larger systems, and so on. Lambda calculus and Turing machines are equivalent. They both, anything one can calculate, the other can calculate. But Turing machines are exciting because they're these hypothetical devices that use state. And from these hypothetical devices, people said, wait a second, we can build real machines that do this. They work with machine code, which means let's flip a whole bunch of physical switches and then see what electricity and bits come out the other end. And we abstract that away in a language, a text format called assembly language. We build higher level languages like C that compile into assembly. Well, this is stupid. We'll make the programming languages do that for us, and we'll just focus more on concepts. Why are we even bothering with memory? Why don't we just have these pure functions that operate on each other? This whole time, this machine march through abstraction has been leading us to something that existed before Turing machines existed, which is the lambda calculus. We can start de designing purely functional languages and using all the decades of mathematical research that have gone into LC. Lambda calculus and Turing machines are equivalent. Therefore, here's the big theme of the, th of the entire talk coming on the next slide. Everything can be functions.